live na kayo. Let us pray the angelus in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declares unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thank you. 
Brothers and sisters, let's start our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We know from life how precious water is. When we are thirsty, there is nothing like drink of fresh water. In today's Gospel, Jesus uses the image of bubbling water to last the eternal life that he is offering us. Jesus alone can satisfy our thirst for meaning, for the divine. May our Eucharistic celebration be a prelude to our participation for the banquet of eternal life. Brothers and sisters, is acknowledge the sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to the mighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting prayer and arms giving has shown us a remedy for sin. Look graciously on this confession of our lowliness, that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, in their thirst for water, the people grumbled against Moses, saying, Why did you ever make us leave Egypt? Was it just to have us die here of thirst with our children and our livestock? So Moses cried out to the Lord, What shall I do with these people? A little more, and they will stone me. The Lord answered Moses, Go over there in front of the people, along with some of the elders of Israel, holding in your hand. As you go, the stuff with which you struck the river, I will be standing there in front of you on the rock of Horeb. Strike the rock, and the water will flow from it for the people to drink. This Moses did in the presence of the elders of Israel. The place was called Massa and Meribah because the Israelites quarreled these and tested the Lord saying, is the Lord in our midst or not? The word of the Lord. 
be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let the response be, If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into His presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to Him. Response. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For He is our God, and we are the people He shepherds, the flock He guides. Response. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear His voice. Harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa, in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. Response. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person. Though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves His love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Gospel Acclamation Lord, you are truly the Savior of the world. Give me living water that I may never thirst again. The Lord be with you. And with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. Jesus came to a town of Samaria called Sacre, near the plot of land that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. Jesus, tired from his journey, sat down there at the well. It was about noon. Maria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How can you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? For Jews use nothing in common with Samaritans. Where then can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this cistern and drank from it himself with his children and his flocks? Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I shall give 
will never thirst. The water I shall give you become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may not be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worship on this mountain, but you people say that the people to worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship what you do not understand. We worship what we understand because salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. And indeed the Father seeks such people to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, the one called the Christ. When he comes, he will tell us everything. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking with you. Many of the Samaritans of that town began to believe in him. When the Samaritans came to him, they invited him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. They began to believe in him because of his word, and they said to the woman, We no longer because believe because of your word, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is truly the Savior of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. In the midst of money laundering of millions of dollars coming into the country, the non-payment of these taxes by the poor ghost and its attendant criminality and prostitution and the rapid spread of the COVID-19. The occupant of Malacanang in his speech before the League of Municipalities has one more attacked the church by accusing Cardinal Tagli of cha channeling the church's fans into the yellow campaign. And he said that is the reason why the Cardinal, after having been investigated by Vatican, was kicked out of Manila. And we, here in Manila, are currently leaderless, as only an administrator, not a bishop, was appointed. To the uninitiate, those outside of the church, it's quite persuasive and believable. This has been, from day one of the President's governance, his style, divide and rule, DDS and yellow, we and they. When we say we, he was referring to themselves as having the monopoly of love of the They are the enemy of the people. Today's gospel is Jesus' encounter with the Samaritan woman at the well. The Mediterranean world is divided into and according to gender. Women have their places, home and kitchen, while men are outdoors, fields and marketplaces. The well is both common to men and women, but they ought not to be there at the same time. For women, it should be morning and evening. But the woman comes at noontime. He or rather she was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Just as Jesus need not enter Samaria or Sikar, he could just go around Samaria. He went, or rather, he went and passed by and stopped at Samaria. 
Most likely the woman come at this hour because women of her village shame her for her shameless behavior of having five husbands and with living with someone now, not even her husband at the moment. Speaking to a range strange man in public, woman put a drink. For a man to speak and chapter on woman to public is highly suspicious. In fact, the disciples were shocked to witness this Jesus request. Then the woman went to the marketplace. It is a place reserved for men. Jesus not only talked with a woman, there is a religious cultural innovation here. She was a Samaritan. The Jews have always considered Samaria as impure. And to step in their own town defiles them. Whereas the Jews, believing that they are the chosen people of God, consider themselves pure. We see here the overall picture in the gospel is the inclusiveness that is at the heart of the new way of God's presence in Jesus. Jesus has broken the barriers of race, gender, and religion. Jesus addressed the woman as a Jewish male and risked himself of being defiled in the process. He addressed himself to her as a fellow human being by asking her for a drink. Jesus shares the same human thirst for a drink. In the particularities of her personal situation, the woman was not condemned by Jesus, but points to her the new and true worship of God, which transcends the religious barriers of Jerusalem and Mount Zion. Worship of God is not anymore confined to a particular place, whether in mountain or churches, but God is spirit, and therefore God is worship in spirit spirit, and truth. Therefore, the gospel invites us to destroy the walls that people, culture, and religion have built to separate us from each other. This year, the CBCP has adopted the theme of harmony through dialogue to stress the need to collaborate with all people of goodwill towards unity in the country, divided as we are, by cultural milieu, economic status, and political ideological orientations. Our differences with all these, whether Protestant, Buddhist, and Muslim, whether with our indigenous brothers, Lumach and Agtas, should not get into the way of working together towards our common aspiration of pursuing the common good that approximate the values of the kingdom, justice, peace, and unity. Beneath the veneer of our religion, culture, and economic status is our common dignity as sons and daughters of the Father. Here she should be able to appreciate the good and the beautiful, not only within us, but also to be able to learn and to receive the good that God has given through these differences from others. Such inclusivistic and universal outlook of Jesus, however, goes against our instinctive desire to seek privilege and find psychic fulfillment in knowing that we are special with special perks and privileges that the common Tao do not enjoy nor are capable of enjoying. We take pride in anything that is exclusive, whether it is exclusive credit card, golden platinum, membership in exclusive gold courses and recreational places. Amidst this inclusivistic message in Jesus is our elitist mindset. The Jews have always thought that their election as a chosen people implies exclusion and rejection of the other. On the contrary, they are chosen people, so that the others through them may be brought to the knowledge and love of all encompassing mercy of the Father. Their being chosen is both a privilege, but a responsibility as well. Brothers and sisters, in God, there's no more Greek or Jew, 
no slave or free, male or female, all are children of the Father. of COVID-19 crisis, we realize that we share the common vulnerability and our need and dependence on each other. Let us have confidence in one another, support each other, respond calmly and responsibly. We are all in this together. No one should be left behind. In such a crisis, everyone has a part to play. Everyone, all of us, aspires to quench our thirst from the well of Jesus, whether that well is located in Zion or in Jerusalem. Let us renew our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for as men and women, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the, the, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess with baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that the Eucharistic celebration may help us to experience Jesus as the living water. With confidence, we pray. Father, hear us. That our liturgy may be led to acts of loving service. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, hear us. That people for meaning in life, may find in Jesus the living water. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father hear us. us. That the leaders of the church may consider doing the will of the Father as their food and long to announce the gospel to the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father hear us. us. That the faithful departed may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Father, Father hear us. us. In a very special way, we pray for healing and fast recovery to all our sisters, brothers who are sick, especially our brothers and sisters who are infected with this coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Father, Father hear us. us. Father, hear the prayers of your people. Send your spirit and awaken in our hearts adoration, prayer, and thanksgiving through Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, my dear friends, that is your offerings be made acceptable to God, a loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His church. Be pleased, O Lord, with the sacrificial offerings. Grant that we who beseech pardon for our sins may take care to forgive our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just are due to our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ the Lord. For when he asked the Samaritan woman for water to drink, he had already created the gift of faith within her. And so ardently did the thirst that she oh, he kindled in her the fire of divine love. And so we too give you thanks. And with the angels pray your mighty deeds as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You indeed, holy O Lord, the founder of all holiness, may call it therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, who once were giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we all pray you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting as worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Pabilio, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers, sisters, and children who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, graciously grant your peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and with your spirit. Let us greet one another now, the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. With you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Behold Jesus, behold him the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to partake of this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. When you do not receive communion and you do not attend Mass, you can make spiritual communion, which is a most beneficial practice. By it, the love of God will be greatly impressed on you. St. Teresa of Avila. An act of spiritual communion. Please join me. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at last, at least spiritually, into my heart. 
as though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we